Hey everybody, Quilting Marine here. So we're still making progress with our t-shirt quilt, okay? And I had a few questions about how I squared off my t-shirt, okay? So the most important thing is to have, you, you guessed it, ha <laughs> ha, self-healing mat, all right? It's, I mean, I'm sure there's people out here who probably could do it, but I wouldn't recommend it if you want your wife to not be mad at you, okay? All right, carving up the kitchen table or the kitchen counter is not cool, all right? So, this is what I'm doing. I'm using, you know, because, look, I I'm, I try to keep it simple, all right? I'm not a rocket scientist at this, but I did stay at Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> okay, all right. So, I'm using these, these uh, measurements right here in my self-healing mat, okay? I try to keep it simple. But if you don't have this, all right, it's not a mandatory, all right? I just use this to cheat with, okay? I'm just going 12 by 12. So to keep it center, I'm going from the 12-inch marker line to the 24-inch marker line, okay? That's my, that's my width. And then I'm going from the 18-inch marker line here, right here, to my 6-inch marker line right here, okay? Just to keep me sane, all right? Because if I try to do it any other way, it would be ugly, all right? And I'd pull out. No, I don't have hair to pull out. Um, I don't know what I would do. But look, this is how I do it. I try to keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it, all right? This is what. This is one of the things that I want to keep you coming back for because this is one of the things you couldn't find with all the quilting videos is, you know, all these experts out there quilting and they're leaving you in the dust. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to leave you in the dust. I want you to quilt, all right? This stuff is amazing. I love it. I love doing it, all right? So here we go. So we got this Georgia football shirt, okay? So, you know, another thing, don't forget, okay? All right, don't, I don't, don't want to leave you in the dark. So I'm going 24 to 12. But remember, with a quarter inch seam allowance, all right? And a quarter inch seam allowance, that's going to give me not a 12, not a 12 inch, but an 11 and a half. All right, all the way around. Because don't forget about your, your quarter inch seam allowances. All right. Now, if you want it to actually be 12 by 12, by, uh, 12 by 12, then you're going to have to go out to 12 and a quarter on this side, measured out to 24 and a quarter on the other side. You get it, right? Okay. I mean, this is how I have to teach myself. I have to teach myself the same way, potato head style, okay? All right, I'm I'm a, I'm a Marine, and, and we like to use crayons. So you got to teach us in the basic way, all right? And and once you do your sewing, then it would measure out. But, I, you, you know, like I said before, this quilt, I'm just doing this quilt to help you get started on your own T-shirt quilt. I'm not building a, a fantabulous quilt, all right? I'm just making this quilt so that you can, so that you can move forward in quilting. So anyway, we're going to, um... We're gonna cut this, all right? All right. So, remember before what I was talking about, right? So you don't wanna like have collar cuts, all right? You don't wanna have these collar cuts on your t-shirt quilt because it looks kinda of horrible, all right? You're trying to center up, you know, the graphic that's on the shirt. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to do it. I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows how to do it though, believe me. I hear about it. But this is how I do it because, you know, this is how I do it. All right. So what I do is I try to get as close to the collar edge as possible because I'm trying to center this, but I'm not going to get much material because look how much material I have. All right. So I'm going to cut as close. Don't, don't worry about the measurements. All right. All I'm doing is cutting this top line. All right. I'm going to try to get it as straight as possible. I'm going to get my handy dandy rotary color. All right. And we're just going to do a cut. All right. Straight across. All right. So once I go off the edge, I'm not worried about it because this stuff's all going to be going to like a scrappy coat anyway. All right. Let's get that there. Oh, that's not cool. All right. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi. All right. All right. So look, now I got my cut, my first cut. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that first cut up to my top line on that border, all right? 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bottom cut. All right? So it's number, the six line, remember? But I'm going to push this up just a little so I can square it off, all right? That was kind of a horrible cut, all right? Don't hold me to it. All right, I'm just going to push this up just a little bit, all right, so I can square it off later. All right, the six-inch line, straight across. Yes, I'm sure somebody's wondering, well, how come you don't have your handy-dandy laser? All right, I don't have the laser because I just ate a great dinner that my wife cooked for me, and I'm basking in the glow, okay? All right. Now, 12-inch line, remember? 12-inch line, 12-inch line. 12 inch line, straight down, all right? But we're gonna center this thing just a little bit, all right? It's not centered, all right? Okay. All right, that looks close enough for government work, all right? All right let's move this over just a little bit more, just a little bit, okay? Because remember, I'm doing a quarter inch seam allowance, so I don't wanna be stitching over any of the graphic, okay? 12 inch, 12 inch line here. And look at that cut. Yes. It's like cutting pizza. Look at that. All right. And 24 and 24. Here we go. Amazing. You know, that is amazing. It's like calling for fire and they actually hit what you're calling for tire on. Look at this. All right. So I'm going to square the top off here. Look at that. See how that's like kind of off because I cut it like I was drunk driving? Now I'm gonna shave that down. Now you notice I didn't turn the shoulder, the shirt over or anything because I'm not doing, I'm not doing like graphic, 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 okay? I'm doing maybe a graphic and a blank, a graphic and a blank like that so I could take up some space, all right? So I need that bottom layer and I just leave them together. now. All right, the only reason why it's square like this is because it's freshly cut, all right? It's a cotton t-shirt, so as soon as you pick it up, the ends are gonna curl up, okay? Watch, as soon as I pick it up, see how the ends, see, you, you know how that works, all right? They're not, it's not a perfect cut, all right? But it, you know, this is what you got until you could put it on to your interface, all right? So I went out and picked up some interface, and this is my little stack right here. Don't mind the mess, sorry. All right, and I've got a bunch of shirts that I picked up, that we picked up, the wife and I. And this is what we're gonna work with, all right? This is gonna be like the quilt that we're gonna go with. It's just, I just wanna give you the techniques and practices to get your t-shirt quilt going, okay? You're on your own once we get these squares melted to um, some interface, all right? So I'm going with the featherweight um, what's it called? Featherweight, what is it called? Featherweight something interface. What is the name of it? Feather, featherweight something. Uh, they got the, they have the one that you can sew in and this is the one you can iron in. It's called featherweight something. I don't know what it's called. Somebody let me know what it is. All right, so don't forget interface. All right, you have a very, very smoothy side and then you have the glue side. You see that? How it's a different contrast? All right, that's what we're attaching to our T-shirts, okay? So it's simple, all right? Glue side. I want the glue side, which is this shiny, slick side, up. We're going to put our T-shirt on that glue side, all right? So remember, you just cut this T-shirt, so it's going to be like, one, it's going to want to roll up on you. It's going to want to not cooperate, okay? But you can get it to cooperate, all right, get that thing nice and laid out on your interface, okay? See how the interface, see how this t-shirt's already trying to pull away from the edges? All right, you just cut it. You just cut it, and you know you cut a good good square, all right? No worries, though, okay? Look at that. It's on the interface, and all we're going to do is we're going to take, take it from there to the ironing board. Voila. Look at that. All right. This quilting stuff, man. I, I can't believe how amazing quilting is. Man, if I'd have gotten to this when I was a kid, I'd quilt the house. Look at this. All right. Remember, graphic side, down. 
graphics side down because we're about to use our iron, all right? All right, we don't want steam, no steam, okay? Zero steam. We're just gonna press on the interface. That's all we're doing, okay? Just pressing on the interface, nice and slow. Now, um, when you bite your interface, they're gonna have directions on it, okay? They're gonna tell you the suggestions of heat and stuff, okay? But you gotta remember, you're using this on a not not a typical material. So I, I, I kinda keep it on a medium high heat, all right? I'm not gonna put the iron down and walk away, you know? Who does that? If somebody's doing that in your house, Get some, get them some counseling, please. Okay. All right. Look at that. So it's going on. Takes a little, little, little patience. Just a little patience. Okay. Just a little patience. No. What are you doing? Look at that. See how it's sticking on now? Yeah, baby. Awesome power style. Yeah, baby. Okay. Now you gotta remember t-shirt quilt. So some of your graphics, you're gonna have to be careful, okay? Because some of your graphics aren't gonna like heat very much. Alright? Because they've already been heat transferred onto the fabric. And they're not gonna want to be seeing heat again. Okay. Alright, that's one. It's done. Now this little edges and stuff that you see, if the graphics not on it, hey, why not? Hey, it's a free-for-all. Look at that. Everybody gets a shot. Iron it on. Now, I'm not too overly concerned about the white edges showing because when I do my quarter inch seam allowance, that's going to get sewn in. Okay? Don't overthink it. All right? Don't think yourself out of the game. It's quilting. And remember, it's only fabric. It's only thread. Okay? You can always go back and get another shirt. All right? Go snatch your brother or sister's shirt or somebody who's not expecting it and cut that up. All right, that's one. Okay, so take your time. All right, it's it's. It takes a little patience, but not as much patience as doing a, a a quilt quilt. All right, but good luck with it. You know, if you have any more suggestions or concerns about the t-shirt quilt, I'm here for you. All right, I hope I answered some of the questions that were out there for the t-shirt quilt. Um, we'll move forward and once I get a couple of these done, we'll come back and we'll start attaching them. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to do the red backing that went to it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I laid out and then I'll show you what my wife lays out. Okay. Because they're totally opposite all the time. I don't have the eye when it comes to putting those kind of things together, but she does. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe and remember it's only fabric and it's only thrill.